let's talk about a modification of the knights and knaves puzzle. In this world, we're going to have knights, which always tell the truth, knaves, which always lie, and floppers, which do the opposite of the previous speaker. So if the previous speaker lied, they'll tell the truth. And if the previous speaker told the truth, then they'll lie. If they're the first speaker, you don't know which conversations they were in the past, so they could either tell the truth or lie. So they, you never know what they're going to do if they're the first speaker. In this world, let's come across three people. A, B, and C. You can't tell if they are knights, knaves, or floppers, and you don't know how many of each type there are. And if we go through these following statements that they say in order, A says, we are all floppers. B says, C is going to lie. C says, B is a knave. And then A says, B and C are the same type. Now we want to evaluate from these statements what they are. We could follow the truth table method, except since there are three possibilities for each speaker, and there are three speakers, there's going to be 27 possibilities. That's a lot of possibilities. So instead, let's use case analysis in order to reduce the possible cases to consider. As an example, what we can do is we can say A says that we are all floppers. If that's true, then C's statement that B is a knave is false, and therefore B's statement that C is going to lie is true. However, if A says we're floppers and said told the truth, and then B told the truth, then B was not a flopper. Therefore, it is not possible that A told the truth. Let's just go over that one more time. If A said the truth, then C lied, but it depends that B told the truth, so B is not a flopper. Therefore, this statement is not true. Since that statement is not true, we know that A is not a knight. A could still be a flopper or a knave. Let's try to evaluate what we can see here, too. The statement that B and C are of the same type could be true, and also could be false. So these are going to be some tricky statements to make. Let's, let's try to evaluate what happens. If A is lying, then we get some information about B and C. And if A is telling the truth, then we get about information about B and C. Therefore, let's tr test the cases of A's truth and falsehood here. Specifically, if A says true here, then A is a flopper. If A's second statement is true, then A is a flopper. And if the second statement is true, then B and C are the same type. So either they're both knights, knaves, or floppers. They can't both be floppers because we know that all three of them cannot be floppers. If they're both knaves, then C is telling the truth, but C would not be telling the truth being a knave. If they're both knights, then C would be lying. Therefore, this is not going to happen. So now we've determined that B and C are of different types, and A's statement, both of A's statements are false. So now we want to go through and say, okay, A could be lying both times because A's a knave, or it could be lying both times because A is a flopper and C told the truth. So let's check a, a few things. If, if A is a flopper and C just told the truth, th then we get a little bit better situation. So in the case that A is a flopper, C told the truth, therefore B is a knave. And B saying C is going to lie is a lie about C, being, uh, C telling the, um, a lie. Therefore, C is telling the truth, and uh, C could either be a knight or a flopper. And if you evaluate it, it, either situation works. Therefore, we have two possibilities in this situation. Either flopper, knave, knight, or flopper, knave, flopper. These are two possibilities that we've been adding as there. But those are the only possibilities if A is a flopper. So therefore, we need to check if A is a knave. If A is a knave, then we don't know anything about C's truths of this statement. So if A is a knave, then C or could lie or tell the truth. So we tell, if C tells the truth, we know something about B. So let's see what that is. So if C tells the truth, then B is a knave and lied, which is consistent because C is going to lie as a lie. C told the truth. And since B lied, C could be a flopper because C is telling the truth. Therefore, C could either be a flopper or a knight. If C is a liar, then if C is lying, B is not a knave, and B is telling the truth. If B is telling the truth about C lying, that's fine. So B is either a knight or a flopper, and B is telling the truth. C is lying, so C is either a knave or a flopper. So here I've evaluated all the possible situations where B is telling the truth and C is lying. However, look at this last one, knave, flopper, flopper. That means that B and C are the same type, which we have already evaluated to not be true. Therefore, this is not a possibility. So B and C are not the same type. Therefore, we end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 possibilities out of our possible 27. Flopper, knave, knight. Flopper, knave, flopper. Knave, knave, knight. Knave, knave, flopper. Knave, knight, knave. Knave, knight, flopper. And knave, flopper, knight.
And therefore, by using case analysis, we're able to evaluate all the possibilities of the three types of people.